Holy moly. Getting closer. So, if you don't know, well, this is Chris. You know Chris. And uh, Chris has been working super hard the last couple days getting the shop together. Because we are in a space over there that will become a coffee shop. And uh, so, man, this is awesome. So, yeah, give me, give me the rundown. I know you just told me. What's the rundown of where are we now and what still has to happen in here? So, at this point, it's really close to a lot of fit and finish stuff. Um, we're tidying up. Uh, the lighting and just getting a couple more receptacles in, then all the electrical's done. After that, um, we've got painters lined up that are gonna make it look a little less like a construction site. We'll put the last little buck of slat wall up and then flooring, and then it's a matter of moving a whole bunch of stuff in here. Yeah, and then you've told me that I get the Kool-Aid man this wall, right? Yes. Yeah, you know, at 35, almost 36, I'm feeling good, strong. You know, just a row of cinder blocks. But yeah. <laughs> What's our workers comp here? Uh, not good enough. Okay, okay, I won't do it. While you're here, I'll run over there and make a video because we've got a whole bunch of new fun guitar stuff. You guys keep making noise as well. We do. Do I want to introduce you? This is Colin. <laughs> Colin's a great guitar player. Playing playing a band band together. <laughs> yeah. Yep. All right, let's go look at some cool stuff over here. So the shop over the last couple weeks has totally filled up. Like we put in these racks in this hallway. So these are all like gator cases and guardian and onstage cases. And then we have just totally filled up out here. So I'll go show you. Sounds like Steven's playing. Somebody brought in a pedal for Steven. Vinny's over here living in label. Living that That's label gone. life. Oh yeah, you know it. There it is. Yeah, all day, every day. But we got some Eastmans that came in here. An E20, uh, an E10 OM, a couple Showalters, and Alvarez Yari. You saw the video on that one. And then we've got some more stuff. We have the full line of Eastmans. I'll pull one off the wall here in a sec. But check out all these, all the, all the new Eastmans. Maybe. So I know a lot of you have kept up with the stories we've gone, but Hometown Music, two years ago, there was an explosion in the building that Hometown was in, and in that explosion, everything was gone. There was a gas leak, the entire building exploded. So we've been in the process of, like, they have been in the process of rebuilding and kind of getting their life back together. And in the meantime, the space that came available was this, which is like an old restaurant. So we've been making guitar stuff. We've been working on guitars in the kitchen of this old restaurant that's in an old grocery store and we're just, I mean, we're bursting at the seams. Check this out. Back here's where all of our PRS cases go. This is all of our Eastman stuff. Uh, more Eastman cases here on the ground. Some Alvarez Yairi, some more Eastmans, and then Alvarez all the flexi cases back here. So, I mean, simply put, man, we're, we're just out of space. So, anyway, here are a couple of guitars. I'll show you a couple of cool guitars before we wrap the video. This is a brand new E20. Uh, this guitar, if you watched my video a while ago, this guitar, man, is so similar to the Bourgeois Touchstone. And this one's $16.99, so like half the price of a guitar that's already half the price of an incredible guitar. I total other end of guitars that are super super cool now still Eastman um, is this one this is one that I've tried to talk myself 
out of buying into buying, um, I don't need it. I have plenty of guitars. But ever since I sold my Waterloo WLS, I've had a double O, an L double O shaped hole in my life. And um, so this one. This is the E1, right? This is the E1 00 SSSB. SSSB. So that's the E1, so that means it's a solid Sitka spruce top, solid sapelli back and sides. Then it also means that the slope shoulder is the other SS. Sunburst means that it is obviously a sunburst. Okay, what I really dig about this thing is that it has like that super old style Gibson, like tiny L00 burst. Just cool. And for 579 bucks, comes with a gig bag. That's where I'm like, this guitar kind of needs to come home with me. But it won't, it can't. But yeah. All right, I got a Squire to show you. Look how cool this thing is. This is one of the brand new Squire Sonics. Um, so this is the HSS Humbucker Single Single, and this one is so cool and so affordable. I think these are like $199. Um, yeah, just this replaced the bullets, which the bullets were a bit long in the tooth. And uh, oh, hey, have you ever heard this? I never knew that these two phrases went together. Long in the tooth and to look a gift horse in the mouth. Those two are connected. Here's a fun fact you didn't sign up for. Um, so when you're telling how old a horse is, you look at how long their teeth are. And so that's that long in the tooth means that they're old and they're kind of worn out. And so to look a gift horse in the mouth is to then look very critically at something that was a gift. Didn't know that, but you now know it. All right, I got one more squire to show you and that's how we'll close this video. Mr. Danny Dollinger, we just walked in. Danny, you want to be in a YouTube video? What's you want to be in a YouTube video? Hey, you guys know Danny. This is the fret boss himself. Long time no see. Hey, buddy. How are you? I'm good. If I was any better, I would be twins. How about y'all? Hey. <laughs> We're good. Excellent. Oh. So this was a neck crack repair, right? It was. And this is editable, correct? Yes. Then let me show you my favorite feature about this guitar. The custom blanking out of the last four digits. Oh, <laughs> What's it mean? <laughs> it means that this one was specially set up in the factory by uh, someone named Lucky Dog. Anyway, so there, yeah. this guy, that's how it came out. It's a really super solid. It feels great. Um, it was a very, uh, it was a really compound fracture there were a lot of things going on inside of this so uh it was it was impossible to get the seam any tighter than that i'm happy with it in every way it looks really good except that it's it's not invisible which yeah. in a way kind of like you don't want to do that there's a certain service in leaving the repair visible so that nobody tries to pawn it off yeah. as an unrepaired instrument. Mm -hmm. And on top of that, this thing is more solid now than it was when it came in. So there's that, the lucky dog. Yes. Shazam. Cool. All right. Cool. Danny, good to see you. It's good to see you too. It's good to be back. So one of my favorite things about the guitar shop we've been able to do this year is to bring in good friends who do cool work. So Danny, I'm sure I'll put some cards for other videos that Danny's done here. Did an amazing crack repair on my 68 uh, Gibson Southern Jumbo. Did some work. He done a, he's done a bunch of stuff. So anyway, that's where we're going to wrap this video. Thanks for watching. I'm Jeremy. This is Guitar Hunter and this is Hometown Music. We're about to start a Hometown Music YouTube channel, so I'll let you know as soon as we get that out. But Thanks for hanging out. See you later. Bye.